News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Matt Moore. Well, it was a pretty cloudy start to the morning, but as you can see, that has changed as we take that live look from our Harrisburg Sky Cam at this time. Seeing that sunshine reaching the ground here. A little bit of blue sky there, a couple of clouds across the region still trying to exit off to the east. Temperatures heating up, 69 degrees currently in the capital city, dew points in the low 60s. So those have also come up. Thank a little bit of a southwesterly breeze that's developing out ahead of our next cold front for those higher dew point values. In fact, we're already starting to see some pretty mild stuff down here along uh, the Mason Dixon line, mid 70s as you go to York, low 70s around the Gettysburg area, Chambersburg, same story. A couple of showers in our eastern counties, those are quickly pulling off to the east. We're starting to see that clearing taking place. But notice it's going to be short lived. We've got a little bit of a wall of water. That's that line of showers and even a couple of rumbles of thunder that are running right along the leading edge of a cold front. As of right now, over the last three hours, it's really been moving pretty quickly here. So I think we're still on track for a, maybe around a two o'clock start time for our northwestern counties as this line moves in. It may take around till six, seven, perhaps eight o'clock in our far eastern counties. And as it moves to the east, we will be watching for the potential of maybe some stronger thunderstorms embedded in there. The Storm Prediction Center has highlighted the entire Susquehanna Valley under a very low or marginal risk. It looks like the highest threat from any of these storms will be some gusty winds. So that's something we're certainly watching out for heading into the afternoon hours. We have uh, Mannheim in the background. The Mannheim Community Farm Show continues today. Keep in mind, there may be that line of showers and storms moving through around Mannheim, I would say between 4 and perhaps 6 o'clock. Uh, otherwise, let's watch for those scattered showers and storms around. It'll be warm and more humid today. Again, the breezy conditions, middle 70s for those highs. Into tonight, partly cloudy, comfortably cool. Lows fall down to near 50 degrees. Then we can start off with just a couple of clouds tomorrow morning, giving way to sunshine and cooler temperatures, 62 to 66, which is actually pretty close to normal for this time of the year. So again, we're watching for this cold front. It's coming in from the west here, and uh, we'll be uh, seeing that glide through the Commonwealth through the rest of the afternoon hours. And as you can see on predictor, around two o'clock, it starts to move into our northwestern county. Some yellows and oranges there. We could see some of those gusty winds. Uh, keep the, that in mind. Also, the lightning to go along with that. Uh, but watch this: out. five to six o'clock, seven o'clock. It's already down to our east. So those high school football games kicking off at seven. You may actually be okay. There could be a couple of showers around the region, but that will push down to our southeast. We'll get back into some clearing as we head into tomorrow afternoon. Those highs in the 60s. We cool back down. Sunday morning could be a chilly start for us. Some spots may be in the 30s, but I think generally speaking, a lot of us low to mid 40s for that start, rising quickly to about 70 for the high on Sunday. Hey, as we head through the weekend itself, looking pretty good by Monday, mostly sunny skies. Hits of a couple of showers on Tuesday as well, staying a little on the breezy side towards the end of next week. So, Susan will be uh, weather aware today for sure. Some of those thunderstorms around. I don't think it'll be a big deal, and it should be in and out of here pretty quickly by later this evening. All right. Well, that's good news. That is the good news. All right. Thanks, Matt. Yep.